Hi. Hello to everyone. The story of today is about the castratos. Some curiosity about uh, the castratos. Well, castratos always existed. Actually, we know for sure that um, in Constantinople, already 400 years before Christ, there was an important uh, choir of Eunuch. But in Europe, uh, the boom of the castratos was later, around uh, the half of the 16th century, and the Golden Age was one century later, uh, in the 17th and 18th century. Of course, I think many of you uh, remember or have seen uh, the wonderful, very impressive, well done, uh, fantastically performed film um, above the singer Farinelli, Farinelli, he was born in 1705 and died in 1782, and his name was Michelangelo um, Nicola Broschi. And the story is that, um, as in the film it's said, and it's true, and uh, it's real, that they were sort of Olympic uh, athletes because uh, through the castration, they uh, had, of course, uh, no testosterone, and their bones and cartilage went on growing, 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 growing. So they became really giants, and they had incredible uh, big uh, rib cages with an amount, um, an incredible amount of breath. So they had this uh, sort of mixture of um, female childish voice with these incredible long, long, long lines and breaths. Uh, so um, this is one of the reasons why they were uh, so admired. Also, people loved them because, well, they could have actually a sexual uh, relationship without any consequences. <laughs> so everyone, uh, well, they were a bit the stars, really the stars uh, um, of that period. But um, the interesting thing, uh, which might uh, many of you might not know, that really many, many, many children, uh, 100,000 children actually uh, have been castrated because, uh, well, especially of poor people, of poor origins, the family thought and hoped that this would bring richness and glory to the family. In 1861, in Italy, it has been forbidden, but actually, um, well, it went on, uh, and it was really stopped in uh, 1903, I think, from uh, Pope uh, X. But the real interesting detail and story is that we had in Italy the last real castrato in Rome who sang at the Cappella Sistina for 30 years. Uh, his name was Alessandro Moreschi, and well known in Rome as the Angel of Rome. And the wonderful thing is that we have, really, we do have a recording of this voice, and it is uh, on YouTube. You can find his Ave Maria, you can find also a piece from uh, Petit Messo Lenel Rossini and other tracks. And uh, he, uh, well, sang at the Cappella Sistina for 30 years and died in 19. Um, 22. So I hope I made you curious. Maybe you like to go immediately and look for Alessandro Moreschi eh, on YouTube and listen at the real, real voice of a castrato. So that was the story of today. I hope uh, it was interesting for you as for me, and I will see you soon for another interesting story. All the best uh, to you, to every one of you from Italy, from Capucine. Bye.